Bon, read the calendar. Pretty usual. Yep. Says you're connected. Yeah. The second is a couple of things have happened since we played. Or well, we've been playing recently. You all leveled up, and you all have a couple of different talismans and items and potions. So I'm asking you all to just take a moment of silence to look over your character sheet. Make sure you're aware of what you can do with your new feats. Make sure you just have just take a second to glance at what your magical items are or your items so that we don't miss anything that might help. I don't think you guys are on the cusp of death tonight, frankly, you guys have handled some of the big shit so far. Um, but I just want to make sure we're not missing out on character features. So just take a minute and we're going to read the features of your character. I have So I changed my skill increase from survival to crafting. So I'm expert crafting. Probably nice. a good call to be honest. Yeah. Oh, we're, are we going to do the the thing where we go over what we all got? Um, I think we all talked it out. When we were Did we? Ones, okay. So okay. Just kind of jump in. I just wanted everyone to sort of be aware of where they're at, just so that we don't have a cool ability that someone forgot mm -hmm. and later was like, oh shit, because it's just sort of like. And I was reading an interview with one of the uh, go to the game designers, and their whole one of their whole points of Age of Ashes is to show off the game mechanics, but also the setting a lot. So I just want to make sure that as we're all getting into Pathfinder, we don't get a wrong impression of it because we miss something. Mm. All right. Yeah. I've got my spells. I'm trained in using morning stars, but simple. Yes. But now you're trained in all martial weapons as well. That's excellent. <laughs> yeah, Nate, you just got spells. You got a general feat and a skill increase. Yeah, but I don't think I actually took my general feat. I talked about taking it, but I don't think I did because I don't see it on my ability list. Which one did you take? Uh, it's the one that allows me to do heal checks every 10 minutes instead of every hour. Most excellent. Because one of the kind of cool things is if you look at the left of all your feet, you can see what level you got them at. Yes. Which is a really nice, like, did I do that? Or when the fuck did I get this? Mm-hmm. Well, if you want to throw that on in the background, Nate. Yeah, that'll, t that'll <laughs> take all of two seconds. I'm just going to remember which one it's called. Also, it's worth noting that uh, now that the Fantasy Ground staff has finished working their way through the probably pretty substantial back uh, back encoding task of implementing the entire fucking bestiary in the Fantasy Grounds. Dang. I mean, like, it's one of those where, like, it's funny because they've done several other books that have come out since then, but a lot of those other books are like, yeah, well, when it comes to coding, there's only a handful of actual rules, like, crunch of the books. So the beast area is 200 pages of exclusively crunch that requires the most programming because they're all mm -hmm. creatures with abilities tied to each other. Yeah. They finally finished that, so I, I got to pick that up. But because of that, a lot of other books are starting to blow out pretty quickly. Quickly. So, like, Eli, they just put the advanced character guide that has, like, all the different oh. racial features and other races. Sweet. That's nerd so, stuff. Nerd, because they draw a lot of stuff. So yeah. we'll start to see a lot more of those other books become integrated into Fantasy Grounds because Great. I get a discount for already having PDFs from Paizo. I'll start adding those into the game pretty quickly. As you guys level up. It shouldn't affect any of you, but there'll just be some cool extra flop you can flip through, photos I can mm -hmm. use, or different creatures I can bring on side quests. All right, though. So, oh, let me share this all with you guys. So if you all remember, you just looted more, well, uh, Alec just inherited some more items that he distributed from the group. What a pal, what a pal. Some kind of bracers of reflection that Pam's now rocking. Did everyone agree that your uh, box of band-aids should be well protected? Well, this way you're less likely to take an arrow to the knee. Mm -hmm. oh. No, I'll just take it to my palm when I try to catch it. Yowch. Do you have arrow, uh, deflect missiles? No. Because that would be sweet. Cam doesn't do that. 
where do you guys want to go from here? Okay. I think... There's like a group in the south, right? Yeah. I think south, yes. Something high, it was like 30, I think. So, uh, let, me, let me double check everyone's exploration mode to make sure everyone's where they want to be. Oh, uh. Karen is looking for danger. Let's check it out. Oh, and I also want to check on what's in folks' hands, just because we finished a couple of things. Oh, I know. Oh, Alright, so right now, Karen, do you want to go to scouting? Uh, yeah, danger. And she has the two handed flail. <clears throat> Okay, Charlie, what's, what are you doing? You got someone scouting. Charlie has a morning star, one hand, uh, and a free hand. Okay. Uh, and. Karen is. You said you're scouting? Yes. Uh, let's go with investigating. Okay. Felix, what are you doing? You still have one noted? Okay, what do you do, buddy? Uh, what do I usually do? The You're usually investigating. Investigate. Yeah, investigating. Right. Cool. All right, move your pawns on the move your pawns on the map. So you desire to start exploring. No. Okay, Kurt. I'm kind of moved down there a little bit. I'm having mouse issues, so you know, just center button on my mouse isn't working so good. The one that I need so to care. mouse try to move that. Ooh, I can do that. Those of you who are closer yes. get a better look at this. Those who are farther a little bit less. But what you see are, are narrow stone walls filled with coffin-sized compartments along the floor to ceiling. The claustrophobic chamber with that kind of line down the middle. Most of the compartments are occupied. See covered shrouds, covering bodies, although a couple are conspicuously empty. Mm. Karen immediately starts to look around. And as soon as you do, you hear this it's it's a rattling clanking in the room. Oh, shit. Tiny undead. <laughs> yep, and I, I, think, I think I have a piece of art for you guys. Okay. So, James, real quick. Yep. Um, we said that, like, my, I get my, since was, this was so early after the rest, I will get my level two, access to my level two spells. You don't know, regain any spell slots you used? I don't, or I do. You do not regain any slots you used in the prior fight, but you do okay. gain access to the new spells because you took time to refocus and pray to Parabola. Gotcha. That was my determination. It wasn't that it was early in the day, it was that there's a refocus mechanic, which in my mind would give you access to that. Okay, so this is what these things look like. Notice they're almost floating held bits of upper earth, ghosting Ooh. along above bits of tendrils of magic and energy and dust. Oof. As you step in, you see them kind of lift up from the ground and immediately start whizzing towards you. Fuck. So, you know what I need is uh, some sexy ass initiatives for everyone. But remember, Ooh. Karen, looking for danger, is plus scouting. One, so, right. everyone, please add additional plus one to your initiative roll. Yeah. <laughs> Nat one. <laughs> Boom. One Damn, Tam, two net 19s, and net Charlie. <laughs> I, was, Tam is observant as fuck. Yeah. I was thinking about something the other day that actually that was kind of interesting to think about. Um, 
because of the way crits work, it actually makes the bard's ability so much more interesting. Which one? Because it means uh, the ability to add bonuses to hit. Oh, yeah. Because think about it. Before, a, a plus one to hit is an additional five, an increase of a five percentage point increase on a chance to hit, which is great. But it's now additionally a five percentage point increase on a chance to crit. Yeah. I didn't really think about that. But like that makes certain abilities like the buff so more substantially interesting. Most definitely. Anyway, just fun thought for the food for thought. Uh, and also, as I was telling Trent, I'm drinking a considerably stout old fashioned. So oh, it's food for drunk thought. So Cam, holy fucking shit, Cam. Cam yeah. throwing first with a nigh goddamn 30. Cam foresaw this event happening. <laughs> well, you are in my favorite terrain. <laughs> Tubes. <laughs> Crips, yeah. <laughs> Tubes, Crips, and mausoleums. Cam is surprisingly not gone for how come up he is. <laughs> Uh, we're going to step to here, bring some more light in with me, and then we are going to uh, disrupt undead. You didn't move on my map. You're just spinning. <laughs> I spun you, that was my fault. Oh. <laughs> You're sort of the northeast of the on my map. Where, where are you going? There you uh, move. There you go. Okay. Now, I always yeah. assume that your torches are in the left, or uh, your land is in your left hand. So, I mean. Yes, I have the lantern, like, hanging off of my shovel kind of thing, but yes, that is in my left hand. Cool. Okay. That's and we are going to use Disrupt Undead on Tiny Undead 4. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, that's a fortitude save of some kind? That is, in fact, a fortitude save. And that is a DC 19. <sighs> that went up, yeah, because it was 18 before. Excellent. Oh, and I'm surprised by that bonus. Oh yeah, that's a fail. Not a crit fail, but definitely a fail. <laughs> yes. All right. So what happens to the motherfucker? Uh, was it was not a crit fail. Not a crit fail. Just a fail. In the next standard okay. damage. Okay. Then it's just D6 damage. Uh, cantrips are automatically heightened to the current level. Damn fucking right there. Okay, so that is three D6 damage. So yeah, they're effectively second level for you. Shit. Actually, no, it would only be two, it would only be two d six damage, okay. um, because it's a my max spellcasting level is level. Yeah, they honestly should change the word from level to tier just to fucking mix it up. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that's been a well. I'm story. just, I'm oh, yeah. Wow. I keep confusing spell ca caster level with character level. Those yeah. are separate things. Yeah. Yeah. No, we right. tried to talk about three six. There you go. Shit. Damn. <laughs> That's how we start the night, boys. Uh. It's, it's just something to be fixed. There's no reason not to fix it. Yeah, like, I'm trying to see this all the time with our 5th edition group, that your character level versus your spell level, like, well, I'm level 4, so my spells are like, no, I'm level 2, you only cast level 2 spells, because at some point, Gary Guy and was like, guys, 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 hear me out. Alright, so as you can see by the color, that fucking hurt. That's a 2 action cast. That is, yep, so that's everything. Right. Yeah, damn, son. Charlie. Charlie. Evil is going to... It is flammable. Charlie is going to quick grab a new, uh... New thing she found. Oh, shit. New thing she came up with here. She's like, you know, I think... Well, I do a lot of this, but I put this in the room. Oh, my God. I put this in the room. I do a lot of this. And you're gonna throw a nice uh, guy here at Undead 2 if you want to give him a nice tiny little, tiny little what's, what's your range on? What's your range? Oh, it is 30 feet? It is exactly 30 feet away. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll get, give him, him get his AC one, just as well. Whatever it is. Yeah. Because it's just people in the way. Alright, AC is on. Okay, and let's see if she actually hits. Oh, oh yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Your arm's starting to get really good there, Charlie. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so. so the, we know they have more than 18 hit points. Uh, God damn! Um, so that is. Let me hang on. 
Let me bring up here a lab just so I'm sure I have this correct. And I'll bring it up in uh, archives just because we were looking at has some they really nest some ability. Yeah. So three persistent fire damage. Shh. Sure. Alright, I'm gonna uh, pop oh. that on <laughs> as an attribute. Damn it's Charlie. On, uh, two. Yeah, Charlie fucks. And, and uh two fire splash damage for the other one. <laughs> oh. Also, Ike, you know what we did find, Trent and I, looking through some shit? <laughs> that there is, in fact, a bomb that conveys flat-footed to the targets Charlie hits with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yep. Right. Rogue's best like friend. It. And it splashes, obviously. <laughs> yep, so I, I, I went and put the splash over the TV before. Well, I'm just saying, like, I could yeah. splash that to... I think only the primary is flat-footed. Yeah, it just does damage to the splashers, oh, the splashies. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, but still, the fact that you can yeah. set that shit up for him. Yeah. Yeah, Alchemists Alchemist and Rogues are one of the fuckiest combinations. Alright, so that's a create, a throw. You got one action left, Charlie. Oh my god. Um, Ashton, just move here. Yep. Cool, I good. Ah, now this undead's pick. Teeny Undead 1. Go 5. 10, 15, 20, 25. What's the range on that? 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so let's go. 5, 10, 5, 10. Move to there. And then it's going to. A nail just kind of conjures magically and just fucking shoots that carrot. Oh. Oh. Are we talking like that? You know, no, no, we're talking like Half Life Two nail gun. Oh God! What came to my thing that had a nail gun? Uh, Maddie. It was a yeah. mod for Half Life One in which you had a nail gun, uh, and you played as one of the other scientists. Deep cut. All right. Ooh, five points of damage to Karen. Ooh, I'm say on on real tournament. <laughs> oh, that too. All right, so Karen, Nailed I need her. you to make a fortitude save. Oh crap! Okay. Twelve. Yes. Karen, the nail has been embedded into your into your flesh. Oh. 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 Oh yeah. So you are you are evil. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> you know what we're gonna find out as a group? Is that a disease? No, it's a condition. This this uh, thing that is happening to me is not a disease. No, it, it's from the nails. It's okay. The nail embedding in your skin, it, it's like just fucking with you. And okay. You're feeling like all of this pain and the, like, like uh, imagine some Ghost Rider shit. Yeah. That's the best way I could say it. <laughs> Additionally, you are you have bleed one. Okay. You are drained one and feeble one, bleed one. Ow. All right, and last in initiative. All right, enfeebled. You are physically weak. Enfeebled always includes a value. When you are enfeebled, you take a status penalty to the condition to strength-based rolls, uh. DCs, including strength-based melee attack rolls, strength-based damage rolls, and athletic checks. And I can tell you here, you are enfeebled for a minute. Ugh. All right. So that'll be... At round 10, I think I noted that. Nothing to see here. Yes, this is what I'm almost positive these creatures were created specifically for this adventure. I believe it. Alright, so that's its turn. Now, Teeny Undead 2. Teeny Undead 2 is the fuck on fire and not loving that. So it's just gonna shoot some nails. It's gonna line aside Tam. It doesn't like what Tam did to it. It's gonna, it's gonna nail Tam. I didn't do anything thing. to that one. <laughs> oh, that's right, Charlie did. But it doesn't matter, it, it failed to nail Tam. Oh, yeah, I fucked that guy up. Yeah, you did. You know what? It is going to try to nail Charlie. And I'll put the penalty in my AC. I'll put the penalty to the attack for uh, shooting two enemies on my side. Mm. 
Just because I'm already putting yeah. in the secondary attack on it. No, you know, it's even out of its attack range. This is going to be a minus, big minus on this attack, but it really wants to hit on it. <laughs> Definitely misses. Oh, final, final attack, oh, 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 it'll hit. Uh, final attack, it'll go for Karen. Yeah, yes. This is critical miss on Karen. All right. With, uh, at an effective negative one. It then takes three points of fire damage. Sweet. And dies. Yeah. Good job, Charlie. <laughs> you literally you one shot it. You did one to my left, Eric. Does he not have the strength to do uh, 25 feet in his armor? No, he's wearing really heavy armor. Oh, okay. He's not a player character. That's a fucking crit, but first, he's in low light, so let's see. Hit successfully, let's get that damage. Yikes. Wham. Bam! Power attack really pays off for this one, sucker. Didn't he move twice? No, that was one for him. Just pick. Oh, no, you're right. That is one. No way. He was there. 5, 10, 15. Oh, no, it was two. You're right. So the creature's so actually it wasn't still power alive. attack. It wasn't power attack, but it was still a crit. Alright, that makes it. I don't know, that was TDN Dead 4, so I distracted. TDN Dead 4 is going to launch a nail at Karen. I'm the only one who's missed. <laughs> Misses? Alright. It's just gonna nail gun Karen. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. Ow. Four, five points of damage. But hey, Karen, you know what it's time for? Fort save. Fortitude save. Ugh, 13. Oh, that's a fail. I've been rolling really bad, y'all. On literally everything. I don't think I've gotten more than a five. Oh, Early and I are doing okay. Ugh. It's got a third nail, Karen. All right. Come on, Natty 20. Natty 20, Natty 20. Nope, natural two. <laughs> I'll take it. All right. Felix's turn. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Buddy. Well, you're thinking about your turn for a second. I'm going to grab both a beer and a pie. Uh, throne weapons are usually yeah. something like 10 feet or so, unless you have a lot of like something. Okay. The first is at 5, the second is at 10, then 5, then 10, then 5, then 10. Then you got good at it. 
Holy shit, it is thrown 20 feet. Nope, you are dead right. <laughs> what do you think the dwarves are throwing? He was just bullshit throwing it so until this level. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good hit. Just sort of off-handing it around. Yes, Trent, I see that. You can choose to do so if you so desire. Well, so I think that means if you deal splash damage to your primary target, it does not splash anybody else. Um, because my, my interpretation of can is you can do that so that you don't hit your ally. So one of the special abilities thing of Kibber Lab, the little description on the side says bombs no longer cause splash damage. <laughs> Uh, let me look into that at some point, because my yes. interpretation is that that is what you can choose to do so you don't fuck your allies. Right. Otherwise, it would be, like, the worst to have a human being on the party member, a la Karen. Yeah. <laughs> Just be chipping away at your yeah. teammates' health. Just constantly. Alright, that was, what, one turn, uh, Felix? <laughs> you fucking killed it! <laughs> <laughs> First action will be to move up a adjacent to a helmet on a brush in the wall. Okay. And now that I know I'm trying to make these, he's going to pull out and swing this sweet low grade silver model <laughs> that he's holding for battling my order. Might as well get some use out of it, right? Might as well get some use out of it. Nice, you killed it though. Good job. Felix, the cleanup crew. I'm a club rogue. <laughs> <laughs> club rogue. Straight clubbing. That just makes me think of Gambit like at a okay. fucking nightclub. This person's gonna shoot a nail at Felix. Oh yeah, it's a hit. Alright, now Felix, give me a, give me a fortitude save. I don't have a fortitude save. Crit fail! Alright. So in this case, you are in feeble 2. Ouch. Ooh, you have a 1d4 persistent bleed. Because you feel the nail just like really dug into you. Like it's not fun. I feel like most nails, which are like, yeah, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're Albert Fish. Alright, and then let's do some bleeding 1d4. Okay. And you went for its last action? It's going to just stare at you. Make these lights burn behind it, the, the eye, the, like the slits for the eye should be in this helmet. And, uh, ooh, all creatures that can see. So, I'm gonna say Tam, Karen, Felix, and Alec. Now, this is a fear effect, Karen. Mm hmm. Are you immune to fear or just get bonuses? Tell me what it does and I'll tell you what happens. It is a fear effect with a will saving throw. Uh, I have, um, where did it go? Bravery which makes it so that when I roll a success on a will save against a fear effect, I get a crit success instead. And in addition, any time I gain the frightened condition, I automatically reduce its value by one. So I'm essentially immune to fear one. Essentially. All right. Let's see some will saves for everyone. Everyone except for Shirley. You. We're going to have to stop you. Okay. I'm afraid <laughs> uh, If that 27 wasn't a crit, it is now. It is, in fact, a crit. Um, everyone passes. Nice. None of you feel afraid. <laughs> Little punk. You punk-ass <laughs> punk. What's up, you loser? <laughs> All, right. All right, Karen, it is your drained and feeble bleeding turn. All right. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. That's not me. 15, 20. Uh... And that's 20 or 25 right there. And I'm going to lunge and attack this thing with my, my two-handed war flail. So that's 
this guy. Net right. 20 there it is. crit. Now here's the thing. Hmm. Give me a flat check because it's out of the torch range. Fuck, you're you right. Have low light vision. I do, that's yeah, right. but it's in darkness, so it doesn't change it. Okay, oh, so that's right. treat their second team ring as normal. Flat is D20? Yep, no, no bonus. 11. Exactly the DC. <laughs> yeah, so that's a crit. Um, So drop it on this punky punk right here. <laughs> Dirty 20 damage. Alright. Then Karen, you're gonna take two points of damage. Karen just blows past Alec and uh, Felix with swinging her war flail back, and then just hammers it over the head and crushes it into the ground. Turns around bleeding and gives the thumbs up. You just juice everyone as you run by. Yeah. She's just breathing real hard. Bleeding out of a whole bunch of places. Thumbs up. We go to... I'm going to say in combat time just for a second. So, Karen, end of your turn. Give mm. me a, another... Actually... Give me one second. Okay. Ah. Oh, it must have been patched. Ah, right, give me a flat check, Karen. Okay. Nine. You are still bleeding. Great. All right, let's talk <laughs> Tam. Tam, it's your turn. Uh, who has one? I have a lot. Uh, Felix is bleeding, Karen is bleeding. All right, so we're going to move to there, which I can do. Oh, yeah. And then we are going to medicine check to remove the bleed. A, a, a healing check will remove the bleed. Right, but it's it. I have to treat the condition that does not, like, it will uh, not indicate, indicate the bleed. Um, heal it. Oh, yeah, you're right. I can do that. You're right. I'm going to defer to the treatment healer who knows what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> yeah, so this is a minister first aid. This isn't, um... Treat this isn't a... Yeah, this isn't a treat one. Okay. So, um... Sure. Making sure that the modifiers are all... This is two okay. actions, so you can go over and do this. Okay. Watch out. Yeah. You, you aged that. Yep. Karen is no longer bleeding. Yes. Charlie, it's your turn. I'm just keeping track of to see how damaged people get before we get the chance to Sure. Right. So, Charlie, you don't have to do anything if you don't want to, but if you want to, you can. Uh, what, like assist or something? Like I just, to to <laughs> yeah, I mean, actually... You can attempt to administer first aid untrained if you so desire. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to end up hurting her, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and run a pass. <laughs> I just want to make sure everyone feels like they have agency. Sure. Uh, Alec, Alec sees Felix bleeding. I think Alec is actually going to attempt an untrained one just because he's a little bit out of it. Oh, don't tell him. But he's, uh... Rub some dirt in it. You'll be fine. Walk it off. <laughs> but he has been like he has been trying to build sort of a relationship with, with Felix. He doesn't crit. He, he doesn't succeed. But he doesn't create. He doesn't crit fail. So that's what we're trying. Train it. He's up. All right, Felix, it's your turn. Um, no, I don't think that can really. I guess I could try. Try an, an untrained first aid on yourself. It is, it is only a few um, untrained medicine checks. In. I thought Felix was trained. Oh, he might be. I don't yeah, have trained. Well, you have to have healer's tools, but, yeah. Tam has them. Cool, that's your turn. So at the end of your turn, I you're going to take... Ooh, two points of damage. Now give me a flat check. Nope. Still bleeding. All right. Karen, it's your turn, but you are no longer bleeding. All right. Evil, or, like, another... 
Karen is going to find 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to go over here and uh, just sit down out of the way and try to catch her breath because she is enfeebled. Just the one action, then sit down. Tam, Tam the Tam. Tam the Tim, Tam, 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 Flip, Flip. <laughs> try to stop the uh, bleeding here. Nope. Oh. At least you can't, like, crit fail anymore. That's nice. Yeah, no, no, because an automatic one lowers. Oh, the, that's uh, right. Fuck. So it goes from D. So, what? So that would be, be a failure. So that's that's typically a failure. Then the automatic one lowers it to a crit fail. Uh, so, for example, um, if you rolled a one and your bonus was so high that it was like an 18, that would just make it a failure. Hmm. So you're still a couple like levels points, off yeah. from being able to... The way to... natural ones and natural 20s work is that you assess the level and then a natural one modifies it down one step or a natural 20 up one step. Okay. Um, I, which I kind of like. So like a natural 20 on a skill check is not an automatic success if you were already at like a critical failure, but it will turn a failure into a success. It will turn a crit failure into a failure. So you can't just be like, I have no training, but I'm a 20, I'll ace it. Like, I have no training, but I'm a 20, I might fuck up slightly less. In this case, the crit failure just means that Felix takes the amount of damage from its bleed instantly, which in this case is three points of damage. So at level six, you will be incapable of failing a basic medicine check. Crit failing, that is. Exactly. At yeah. level because, six. Because your crit failure is still at such a high bonus. Yeah. But it'll, go, it'll just take your success to a failure. Yeah. That'll be cool. Uh, Charlie, you just chilling? Yeah, at this point, she's like chewing on some bones. Alec is gonna. I, for the most part, I'm just gonna kind of do this. I just I actually figured this out when I was playing a bit of a test stuff with uh, Trent, Nate, and a couple of our other friends. That like, and I, they didn't explain this well in the, the playtest, but now that I'm feel for it, like, there's a value in running combat time afterwards just to see how long these effects go. Mm -hmm. And now they simplify them a little bit. It's kind of easy to look at and be like, oh, okay, like they're trying to stop bleeding. Oh God, Alec crit fails. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> can can he do battle med can, like medicine twice in a row? It's two action, so. No, no, no. I mean, like, two turns in a row. Because isn't there a thing where you're immune to medicine checks it's or whatever? It's not battle medicine. This is first aid. Different oh, check. oh so, I see. Uh, first aid lets you stop bleeding and stabilize a dying creature. Gotcha. <laughs> Which is why anyone untrained can do it. If they're just attempting to apply pressure, and Alec is just, like, jamming the nail deeper. <laughs> it's just <a> stop! Stop! <laughs> and Alec's like, no, you're right. I'm, so, I'm very sorry. All right. Uh, Tios, it's your turn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Ah, there you go. You, ah, fuck. Stop the bleeding. Just keep it there. No, don't push. Just hold it there. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so we'll say without much issue, a minute passes. All of these people from Felix and Karen. Thank God. Uh, and then I'll do the thing medicine check just for healing purposes. Hooray! This one is on Felix. Boom. That's fast. Nice. There you go. Four <laughs> points. <laughs> Aaron. No. <laughs> That's all right. Not a crit, but it's a failure. All right. Thanks for the try, team. Uh, I, I think you stopped the bleeding. Something. Better than dying here like a stuff a stuffed pig. All right. Just in case you guys need the reference, this is the room description in the chat. Uh, I'm assuming everyone's going back to their old exploration mode. Yes. 
Remember to win the pull. hammer. Forward. Of course. How about I go ahead and pull these fuckers off the map? They have nothing on them, I assume? They're helmets. That are now pretty fucked up. Okay. All right. Once Karen kind of realizes the bleeding has stopped, she's going to start heading towards this way. I think there's a little more down this hallway to the lift. Move your move yourselves as you so desire. So as you look down this hall, you see that it goes just a tad bit farther. Okay. Uh, Karen is very suspicious, so she walks very slowly down this hallway. You changing out of scouting or staying scouting? Yeah, I'm going to say stealthing for this little hallway here. I'm not very good at it, but I'm still going to try it. Well, no, 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 here's the thing. Hmm. If you so, uh, Felix, are you still avoiding notice? Absolutely. Karen, you can choose to change your mode to following, yeah, the, following, following the expert. expert. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yes, and I will do you that. Get to use, and then I make a rule. I make a hidden rule for Felix, and you use Felix's fucking stealth. Okay. Uh, what in character? What Karen is going to do is, oh, Felix, I got a weird feeling about this hallway. Would you mind taking a look? I'll follow right behind you. I've got, I've got your back. Oh, holy fucking shit. So the two of you, like, Felix kind of pointing out, like, this, watch your step there, whatever that communication looks like. <laughs> it's mostly middle fingered, like, horribly crude in your window. Oh, Karen's into it. She, Karen's an <laughs> islander who, who, who sails from port to port. <laughs> Karen's so you a. You work your way down there. Um, you're, you're, you guys are fucking quiet. Excellent. So go ahead, move, go ahead and move your pawns up the field a little bit. I like his right to stay back behind Tam. So you get to the door. Um, door's closed. Looks like so far every other door oh, in the building so far. Check it to see if there's anything behind it. Felix, if you want to switch to searching, you certainly can. No, stop the Be cautious. All right, then Karen. Uh, uh, Karen will take back the lead, and we'll put her ear up against the door. Okay, we'll switch Karen to searching. Yeah. I'll well, move up just enough to keep them in light. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, team. You don't hear shit. All right, I maybe, attempt maybe a drop of water from the leak in the building somewhere else. Okay, I attempt to uh, try the door. It's open. I will open it and then switch back to scouting. Well, so you're opening it and you're listening. So we'll start with that. Okay, sure. Yeah, okay. opening and listening. Yeah, but that's where you're at. Like you're, you're perceiving. Sure. So you're opening back up. I like how we're avoiding the front door at all costs. <laughs> we're all video so gamers. This room, this room opens up, and you see rows of large metal and stone lock boxes oh. lining the winding walls of. No, yeah, winding the winding walls of this. Storage. Occasional shelves, what look like filing cabinets, which were probably intended for document storage, is your best guess. The lock boxes hang ajar. They've clearly been opened and emptied long ago. Sets of obvious tracks which stand out even to you, well, especially to you, Karen, mm. on the dusty floor, suggest that someone's recently moved in here. You see a pile of ashes and a few melted 
candle stubs lying on top of a low table in the center of the room. I turn around and give the shush signal, and I, I, I kind of look to um, Felix and say, Someone's been here recently. And uh, I'll enter the room, but again, switch to scouting. What's everyone else doing? Oh, God, I can't. Don't get yourself up. What about our Alex going to kind of step a little closer? What's everyone else doing? Uh, is anyone scouting at the moment? Yes, Karen, Karen is. Uh, Pam would be still on investigation. Okay. Uh, Charlie will switch to search. And now that we're becoming more familiar with these rules, I encourage you to start to get a little more narrative mm -hmm. as you talk okay. about that. So, like, it was really important to me that as we started, we made these, we, we codified it, that you guys knew what benefits you could get and you got the ones mm -hmm. that you were choosing to. At this point, Trent, feel free to, like, when you say searching, say, like, yeah, I, I, Charlie, I'm going to start just, like, looking around the room, see what I can find in here. Like, let's, let's start building that storytelling element of your character. All right, well, sure. then I'll kick that off, then, since I'm at the front. Karen is going to slowly start walking around the room counterclockwise, kind of uh, taking her flail and sort of, if there's piles on the ground, she's kind of poking at them to make sure there's nothing in them. She's looking behind shelves, under the table, uh, like, like I said, going kind of counterclockwise, making sure there's no dangers in here. All right. So and, and I appreciate like the, the danger clarification with me and GM now. Like, okay, you're scouting. You're, yeah. you're not searching for a trap. You're making sure nothing's going to fucking jump on you. Yeah, I don't care for tra about traps. I'm just looking for a hi hidden little monkey shit things that are going to come out and throw shit at us again. <laughs> that kind Alex of thing. Alex steps in. And starts, you seem to start rifling through parts of the buildings. Charlie, you're in here and you're searching... Tam, what do you have to? So, it would be as soon as we kind of get the all clear signal, um, Tam would move into the room to make sure there was light for everything and then start, you said, like there was uh, stuff that looked like filing cabinets, something that would have documents and stuff in it. I would start looking through stuff like that, looking for information. All right. So, Tam, I'm going to say one thing for you. Let me do this real quick. Because you've actually, you've actually you've got a unique situation in your investigation. Um, as you're looking around the room, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll do. I am trained in architecture. Oh, that, that's one of your lures? Yeah. So you're looking around the room, and a couple things stand out to you as you're looking. Um, I'm going to call that a little thing. Do you actually... Those ashes and the melted candles. Right. Someone performed some kind of necromantic magic in here. Uh, what the fuck? As a matter of fact, you remember that the ward that Charlie identified in the uh, Hall of Lictors right. was a ward triggered specifically by someone attempting necromantic magic to breach into the burials room of necromancy. It's also not hard for you to find out that a trail from this table with the items on it leads to the northeast, that door to the northeast, the top corner of your torch. Well, this is going on, let's kind of bounce around the group. Okay. There, am I seeing a door up there? Not yes, you are. Okay. Do I, as Karen, sort of feel like this room is clear as far as immediate danger? You are ready to do the most mustachioed clear okay. possible. Okay. Then... Yeah, Karen will look around the room one last time with a left, right, and say, I think we're all right in here. Whatever was here before is really, uh, I, I think they've they fucked up. So, Charlie, you're looking around, and Alec kind of sees you skipping around, and Alec goes, go to work. Come over here and let me show you. These, clearly all the obvious things have been taken, but there was kept a few secret places around here. And he actually kind of, and he, he pulls out a small box hidden beneath one of the vaults that you were kind of looking at, Charlie. And you see it's locked. As you're looking at it, Alec kind of gets this really, like, you see this sort of, his shoulders kind of relax and his jaw unclenches. And he reaches into this pouch at the back of his belt and he pulls out a key. 
and he unlocks the box, and oh. it opens up, you see, among oh. other things, you see a crushed velvet oh. a crushed and on it is a, a, a signet ring. A crushed velvet what you cut out? Eye. It's a crushed velvet pillow. Ah. And on it is a signet ring. And Alec smiles. Yes, it is. He holds it up. This is what I came here for. I, I remember sitting on my father's lap and turning this ring on his finger. I was but his boy. Lots of father. Oh, it, it's like there's things it's that... like Karen, but with more penis. Oh. You know, you you love them. So it's like and then, the blade, <laughs> and then he kind of looks up and he, he slides the ring on his finger and just... Thank you for reuniting with these memories, my friends. I... I have the order of the nails gratitude in mind. And there's you kind of notice there's a few other items in the box. It's these take of them as you will. This though is all I came looking for. Happy to bring it back and reunite you with it. I do. Is there um what's is there an equivalent for privacy of like checking if somebody you think somebody's lying? Yes, this is a perception check, and it is still the equivalent of sense motive. Yeah, it's like sense motive. So it, it is a secret check if you want to be like, mm, fuck. Yeah, I'm happy to uh, to roll that for Charlie's you. Charlie's gonna kind of like look at his face for a while as he's doing this you now. So you know, what? I'm gonna give you a small look behind the curtain here. Give like can. Charlie, you just roll the natural. Nice. Oh boy. Ooh. And you see, like, this tension relax from him. And you see in him this this happiness, this completion, that it sinks in with everything he's telling you. He looks happy in a way that he doesn't in battle. And the other times you've seen him sort of sarcastic and throw jokes. Like, a little bit of weight's gone off of him. Like, he's done something right. Additionally, if you'll all check out the inventory tab, there are several more things in here. She'll pat him on the back, by the way. Oh, shit. Uh, and he just takes it. <laughs> Good time. Uh, Nate, you still with us? Yes, I am. That's all like a uh, high five from big where, where we're Charlie and I are from, Eric. Yep. Good time, Good time. <laughs> he kind of smiles and, like, tousles your goblin hair in a very... Not shitty way. Oh, you should definitely wash your hands after that. Uh, you, you, she's definitely um, right. She she likes to play with fish kits. So if you look at the party item, there's, there's there's fucking five other items. Yeah. So if you want to check out the inventory, there's a lot of Damn. Yeah, you're not seeing any of that. Hooray. I see four scrolls and a religious symbol. <laughs> that hold is on. correct. All right, let me hold on. Hold Try reloading, hold reloading hold Fantasy hold Grounds, hold Nate. Over. Uh, I just yeah, see it, I just see it, just disconnected again. Um, oh, I've been plugging for, like, a week. Can you take that 38 stuff, uh, out of the console for once? No, did someone take it? Yeah, I possibly did, like, a month ago. Oh. <laughs> um, Charlie's probably got... Okay. I need, I'll need, uh, Arcane... Uh, I'll need at least one arcane, uh, a couple of religion, several religion checks. I can do neither of them. Religion that. covered. Let me get some religion for I'm it. trained in arcana. But you have good luck with it. Okay, can you use uh, occultism for religion instead of arcana? Or no? Uh, not for this last one. I think it's only on the okay. one. They're scrolls, so it's based on what spell lists they're available to. Gotcha. Let me do a religion. If you're really good, I'm just gonna roll it over to you. Now, the first one, you uh, look at the first one. Nate, you're not sure, but you think it might be a scroll like invisibility. Okay. Ooh. But you're not 100 percent on it. Sweet. Uh, second one, you feel pretty. You feel very confident. You recognize it right away because if you've seen it in other forms, you find a scroll of dark vision. <laughs> you guys are in a Underground dungeon, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Um, 
third one, you're not sure. You think it might be some sort of like buff to fortitude or other sort of like invigoration spell. Um, and then Charlie, let me roll your the Tradecraft. You're not really sure what the last one is, Charlie. Uh, or okay. Yeah. Uh, but then the last item is revealed. That's a, re a silver religious symbol. Now this is a religious symbol in the Order of the Nail. So anyone who is, uh, who, it's Order of the Nail with elements of Asmodeus in it. <laughs> Alex sees that, and he goes, I, you all know my thoughts on religion, I care not for that, but if you melt it down, I'm sure it's worth something. And this doesn't belong to the dead, so take it as you will. Just put it silver. Yeah. It's worth eight gold. You can sell it for four gold. Nice. Charlie, yeah, I'll yeah, bet you can make of, something nice out of it, things. Charlie. He kind of smiles and thinks, that feels right. And he actually hands it to you, so you don't have a religious symbol of Asmodeus and the Order of the Nail. <laughs> <laughs> I think it fits because I've the got Lord the, uh, I have that, the nail armor, and you've got that, uh, the symbol of the nail. I think it, uh, it fits. Charlie, like, looks at it, she's like, <sighs> You feel the pair with Charlie? I can melt it. <laughs> and, uh, how it kind of laughs at your picture of the armor. I suppose it's technically the armor. If there's any new one, you can kill for wearing it. But I think it's mismatched and old enough. You should survive. I call it an antique. I like it. Yeah, you certainly earned it. Thank you. And he kind of looks at back at his finger again. I, I truly appreciate this. Tim, However, do you think whoever was in here before, do you think they've gotten far? Has it been long since this, this ritual you've said was, has been performed? Well, one, uh, out of character, I haven't said anything yet. Oh, oh. <laughs> Well, I, I thought um, I was the one who saw that the candles, there were candles recently, but... You saw the track of candles, you have no idea what that's relevant to. Bro, you're, you know, you're like, you don't know, you're like, yeah, this room has fucking tracks and candles. Got it, then I would not have said that. He's like, well, um, you know how uh, we, um, Charlie found and understood those uh, clips in the other room that, uh, uh, that activated the defenses, if that's what we're going to call them. Yeah, the one on the wall. Yeah. Uh, someone was performing some sort of necromantic ritual here, which that was the trigger. What? And you that see Alex's hands trigger. just like t white knuckle tighten around his sword hilt. Okay, and then it went through that door. And, and Cam like visibly kind of like winces like <laughs> like expecting the, like an incoming punch or something. And he just struts the fuck up. Oh shit. And just kicks open this door. And then you open up the trap. Bam! Does not fucking care about it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna do these scrolls for now, unless anyone. No. Nah. I'm the only one that can do any of them. <laughs> All you. Um, I can always identify. Uh, when you guys take rest, let me know and you can make additional checks. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, do I identify that, that religious symbol? Would be a chance. It's already identified. No, I just yeah, religious just symbols. That's, that's, that's all it just says. I got you. Yeah, that's yeah. all mine says as well. Word. Yeah. So over over Alex, you can see storage racks and cabinets cluttering. It's sort of a narrow and long space. And there's it, there's many that look empty, but you see some dusty banners in the order of the nail, sunburst insignia, stylized Asmodean paraphernalia, traffic clearly designed for formal funerals. You've got to curiously see that in the back of a room. There's a dirt-lined, it looks like a tunnel, heading mm. to the east. Ooh. Ooh. Can you reach the map? Oh, fuck yeah, I can. And it sort of stretches into the gloom. You see a set of tracks leading to this tunnel, leading down to the vaults. And Alec just... Uh, I think we should turn off the light now. That might not be quite a bad idea. Uh, I've got this, and <clears throat> I reach into, Karen reaches into her bag and pulls out the lesser dark vision elixir. Oh, yeah, I've got one of these too. Yeah, I've got one of these I hold one out for Alec. I'm just holding mine in my left hand, and I've got my uh, my flail in my right. But So, I have not taken it, but I have it. 
I mean, you guys kind of look down, the tunnel just kind of stretches on until the light just blinks out. Tim. So these only last for 10 minutes. Yeah, maybe we should keep your light up for now, and if we start to feel like uh, maybe we need this, the element is prize, then we can put it out and we can all take these. This... Wait. What do stop. you think is down here, Eric? Uh, this is, uh... One of our citadels had, well, options for retreat to them. This is a problem. However, this one looks, I can tell you, it's intentionally made to our standards, and the legends my father tell me are correct, which they always, mostly are. As long as they're not about his combat prowess, then this school will go on for quite a ways. Hmm. Trust me, what I want to say, I want, I don't know I say I want to go down there, but there isn't a room where someone might be waiting. Look, I'll happily pursue this to the end of my own justice, but you helped reunite me with my family's heirloom, and I know there still waits yet one more wing of our citadel left unexorcised, and yeah. I owe you much. At least my friendship and my help. Perhaps you're right. Maybe so we should hit back. If you give me my leave, I will go this direction. No hesitation. If you even so much as ask or hesitate, we'll journey with you to finish this. Cleanse my family and home. To leave it to those who have proved themselves worthy. Karen reaches. <laughs> There's the spirit, Charlie. Race you there. And Karen takes off running to the front door. Yeah. For the sake of expediency. Yeah, that that was cinematic. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I will, I will, I will say those. Like, I would hang back, and like Tam would be like, Alex, what would you want to do? Kind of like, what does everyone kind of like charge us off? Yeah, <laughs> uh, and, and I think, I think he would kind of stop and look at you, and he'd smile. What I want to do is this. And he looks at the ring. This place is just that place. There are those who defiled it, but he kind of looks, <laughs> the dust here is uncovered, but there's still dust yet on top of it. The trail lies cold. The blood would be through your veins and still warm. I'd rather keep you that way, my friend. He kind of claps you on the shoulder. You would have made a fine hell knight if it was your choice. Oh, oh but, uh, uh, no, but you guys stop. You made a great friend. Let me do this in return of great faith, favor and kindness you've shown me. Let me stand in front of you. To make sure that order and savagery does not touch those who live a righteous life. For just one more day. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. And he actually, he kind of takes a pause for a second, looks around the room, and he kind of grabs these. You see these regalia, and a lot of them are these sort of pennants. You notice that Alec wears one around his belt. And he pulls it down and folds it up. And says, "Take this." Pam. You look him across my order, specifically those of the nail. Tell them that this was a gift to you, bestowed as one who is worthy by a staff. And he hands you a piece of Order of the Nail Regalia. Like one of the pieces that you gave him. But there's one piece down here that's sort of a part of a ceremonial outfit. Sort of oh. one of the sashes that you wore. Think like Boy Scouts Order of the Arrow sort of thing. Okay. And just as you know, carry this with you. It's basically his like, his police officer's like business card with his name and number on the back equivalent. <laughs> <laughs> I think that beats like the coin from uh, the man with no face in Game of Thrones. It just sort of says, like, take this. And if you need it, present it. Either to use my family's name to help you or to get to me. So, thank you. Thank and then he just, boom, puts the giant magical grant sword on his shoulder and starts fucking strutting. All right. <laughs> um, what, did, what did you say that was? Uh... It's a piece of Hell Knight regalia, Order of the Nail regalia. It will weigh nothing if it's out light. Right, but I want to make sure I have it written down somewhere. I appreciate that. Yeah, if you want to just like custom code something in. Oh, I'm just making a sec I'm just making a note in my note section. Yeah, that would be that's fine. Alright. Rack yourselves up up here, you move the torch. Keep this party fucking rolling. Oh god, we're going in broad. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going Bruce Lee style, yo. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You know what? Let's do this. We all. Basically kick down oh yeah, Karen oh, got pumped. Three doors at once. Karen got really pumped up in that just now, so she's gonna come in swinging. Like, this, yeah, just. All right, that being the case, actually, and real quick. Huh. I hate to ruin the hype train, <laughs> but sit still for a second. Oh yeah. Oh, you you're right. I'm still bleeding out of my thigh. Sorry. You, he's he's right. He's right. Sorry. <laughs> Just one you're, sec, you're everybody. Not out of your eye. I fixed that. Also, why do you have a minus two temporary? That's drained, right. Drained. Yes, that'll ha that'll go away when I rest. Yes. All right. So this is for Karen. But isn't that like maximum HP drain? Yes. It, it is. Which is I, I noted it on the temp. Yeah. He, it already. I already have a temp minus, minus two, two to my hit points. So fourteen. That puts me back up to my uh, well. Technically two under my maximum, but you, you get it. Felix. That wasn't... Man, was the, that would have been a success. <laughs> same role. <laughs> the nice just... It really <laughs> wanted you to get an 11 on that. Felix squirms too much for me to do any, do any real good. <laughs> yeah, but he's pretty healed. As soon as you're done with that, Karen goes, All right, Apparently. uh... Shall we back up? Try that again? <laughs> Shit, yeah. Are you sure, Charlie? Alright, your hands were looking a little cross. <laughs> you're, you're fine now. <laughs> it's decided then, boys. Uh, one, two, three, kick the door in. Charlie, you have to remember, I'm the only one in the party who has soap in their inventory. <laughs> well, well, sorry. Exactly. All right, so I want to take this second before we begin. Hey, wait, technically I have soap too. So that's part of the adventure. <laughs> Look, this oh, thuggin ain't thuggin if he ain't. So let's got a musk up. Exploration mode. Because you guys are about to become fucking door kickers. Scouting. Yeah. Karen is scouting. Versus shield. Oh, that's right. You don't have a shield anymore. I don't have a shield. I mean, Karen, scout it. Charlie, what are you doing? I do have my shield. Charlie. It's just real busted up and in my backpack. I'm, I'm using my flail. Um, is Felix going to stealth? I was going to ask what the mechanics of sneakily kicking a door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in, in, my mind, it would, in my mind, it would be very Call of Duty, um, aim down, like, uh, ADS, the open the door. You'd like nudge it open and look and come in with a surprise. <laughs> so if you want to go and avoid it, you can feel yeah, no, no, like XCOM. I like that. Exactly. Open it. Charlie is <laughs> right on his butthole and is following the expert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Smart. Boy. She's just like holding, she's holding the morning star uh, in both hands, just like above his head. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to take a moment because Trent actually kicked off what became one of the more interesting stories of my career. And right now we have everything appropriately represented. Because at one point a Greeley gang member killed a motherfucker with a flail. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't he, just him either. It was a whole was, gang of them. A that's whole gang excellent. of people killing an old man. And he, but this motherfucker block brought a fucking flail. <laughs> Two things. One, they didn't intend to kill him, but uh, the flail had spikes on it. And Jesus. It several artery. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, you wouldn't expect a flail to spikes on Yeah, really. Uh, and the best thing is, at one point, once everyone took plea deals, it was just, like, fucking flipping on the main guy. <laughs> so they have no reason to lie anymore, right? Like, they've got the deal. The one thing they all consistently agreed on, except for, of course, the guy in the trial, was we don't know where the flail came from. It was just in the closet of his apartment when he was... <laughs> the reason this is noteworthy and funny, as uh, Trent mentioned in the Morningstar, is that the fucking police and coroner identified it as a Morningstar in their news release. <laughs> and when it kicked off, like Trent reported on, someone was killed with a weapon. Once we got the detail, it had been handed up to the guy, Joe fucking Boylan. And so Joe, who knows I like weird crime, the crime goes... Dude, Jimmy, they killed this guy with a morning star. I'm not going to say, holy fucking shit, they used medieval weaponry to kill someone. I've got to read this. So as I start reading this information from the corner, I'm like, Joe, this is going to make me even nerdier than you already know I am, but the way they're describing it, this isn't a morning star, it's a flail. 
<laughs> yes, it yeah. gets better. I think. <laughs> well, they they describe it. It is a spiked ball on a chain. That's a flail. A yeah, that's a flail. <laughs> Regardless, I make the comment to Joe, and Joe's like, "You sure?" I'm like, "This is the one thing I'm nerdy enough about to know that it's definitely a flail." So yeah. Joe's like, "Cool." So he writes it as a flail in his story. It's not a big deal. A couple years later. Joe has moved on to a different paper, and I'm the cops and courts reporter, and I'm covering it as it starts going to court. So I write some articles about it, and I, write, I keep writing about how they killed the guy with a flail. I get this email from the district attorney's office saying, hey, would you please call it a morning star? That's what we have in all of our newsrooms. <laughs> and I was like, this is what I, well, actually, the district attorney's office. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh. And I was a dick about it, because fuck <laughs> them, and the district attorney here in Greeley is horrible. Yeah, this is the hill I, I will die on. Real piece of shit. I still had a bone to pick, because at one point, at one point the police busted into a house with a guy who was suicidal and shot him. <laughs> the guy lived, and I got to know the guy's family. He'd been in a really shit, like, the guy was messed up and needed help. He needed mental help, though, not prison help, which is what he got, because the police shot him when he... He moved to the police with a knife. They're like, oh, he's stabbing himself. They're like, oh, he's trying to kill us. Problem solved. And I still fucking remember when I was talking to our goddamn district attorney. He was like, yes, he rushed at our, our office with weapons. I'm like, all right, what weapon? Like, well, we're still working to uh, figure that out. But look at these. What the fuck kind of weapon takes 48 hours to identify? Does it change shape every time a new person touches it? Was it made of ice? Did it dissolve after this? So fuck oh, I watched that. I watched that episode of Sherlock. It was really stupid. Exactly. So regardless, <laughs> fuck this district attorney. Yeah. So when I get this email from the district attorney, I do the dickest thing I can. And I don't mean that as a badge of pride. Like in retrospect, I'm slightly embarrassed. <laughs> when I send him his email, it says, "Oh, hey, I appreciate the information. From what I can tell." The weapon was a variable chain link attached to a bludgeoning head. This would be the flail as involved in the agrarian wheat crasher in Europe <laughs> in about the 1200s. Nice. The Morning Star was typically used by cavalry in the fixed half. Now, this is just my interpretation. If you have, you know, if you're willing to show me any documentation, I will have to write a correction. <laughs> they never responded to me, <laughs> which is the exact right thing for me to do. Yep. This is what Jane at some point dubbed hashtag flail fail. <laughs> Regardless, it made me it made me crack me up to think that Trent, the one who covered them story the day they killed the poor motherfucker, is holding a morning star while Eli, who also worked in the newspaper, was about to rush into a room with flail. Yup. Hell yes, flail. Full fucking circle. It was really funny, by the way, because I pulled up at the scene while they were still doing, like, like CSI shit, you know? And they were like, uh, hey. Like, hi. Uh, so can I? And they were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Well, I'm going to go talk to neighbors. And they were like, okay. <laughs> there was actually some great stories, because there's this weird chain of connection that Trent and I both with it. Like, there's a lot of stories that Trent reported on when I started that I got to finish in court like 40 years later. Nice. We have a lot of weird like professional connections with Trent. I think like, even when we weren't covering the same stories, Trent was my my functional, not unfortunately not by title, but my functional editor for like a solid six months. Yeah. Alright, so you're all gonna fucking know, uh, we didn't get to Tam, what are you doing as the door kid? <laughs> um... <laughs> Fuck doors. <laughs> uh, just shy of face palming. Do you have yeah. any spell you want to be maintaining? Oh, oh yeah, you, you can do that. <laughs> yes, I am. I am nervous enough about this idea that I will be holding a shield spell at the ready. I figure. So you. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's like one of those uh, flashlights with like the grab mechanism. You're just keeping it going. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you guys are gonna kick down three doors simultaneously. 
I think so. I think we're doing this, yeah. We're under the assumption that these all go to the same place. Yeah, I don't think they do. Oh, I'm under no delusion. Yeah, it's fine. This is a bad idea. Yeah, it's a really bad idea, but we're doing it. Oh, yeah, it absolutely is. Give me one second to check something real quick, folks. Kind of whispers to herself. She's like, break, 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 go, go, go. <laughs> now we're heading to the end. Like, go, go. She didn't negotiate. I said, that's a no, no. All right. So you know what? We're gonna we're, we're gonna take this to comics. That like we're gonna take this to like TV cutaway style, right? Okay. So let's start with Alec. Who just bam, like great sword in hand, opens this room with extreme prejudice. What do you do for? Damn right. Thanks. And Did like we're like, talking like a like, pop sword trick or like you know martial arts. Uh, imagine MMA. Like he keeps his like body and guard up, pivots the top back, and like crane kicks the foot out. Nice. So he does it sidewise. Like, it's like, bam! No, 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 not sidewise, like the front line. So like, literally not a crank. Oh, but they're not a cranky. What's the front one where you, like, lean back and kick forward? Call the talk. That thing. So, door kicks open. <clears throat> Boom. You see it's like an entry hall. Decorated remnants and homage to the Order of the Nails, most storied deeds. You see oil paintings, damaged, but still recognizable with Hell Knight gaining the upper hand, just... Taking down bandits and armies, terrible monsters. Boom, that door kicks open. Felix, you, door like, you, slides open pretty effortlessly. Actually, I don't, I, don't, I don't know that for sure. Let me roll it. The door slides open relatively quietly for how quickly it opens. But you have to imagine the camera's like over your shoulder. This all happens simultaneously, but I really want a chance to tell you. Yeah, yeah. Little bits here. I like, to, I like to think that the camera's like sighted to how my cough and ready. Waiting for the hammer to fall. <laughs> I love that you're finally trained in that. Yeah, I can, I can use my signature weapon. Because you kept using it and sucking at it for so long. But sucking at something is the first step towards being kind of good at something. So you see, you, you see a similar thing here. I feel it, feel it, Charlie. You see oil, floor to ceiling, oiling, oil paintings, hell knights bestowed, like taking the heads off of beasts, a man up on a cross. Jesus, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Not quite, but you know, sure. Kyrgyz? He died for your sins, you know. <laughs> Jebus. <laughs> Jebus. Karen smashes the door with uh, her flail. Like a rotted door, she takes off the hinges. Karen's door, however, reveals something else entirely. Oh my. We have a table? Ow, do we have ow. a table? Tick 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 Ow, ow. This is probably in, like, an embalming room. So in this room, Karen, in, in this room, it's now or see. never. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> in this room, you see a splintered Stretching across the center of a room, broken chairs, moldy books, general detritus litters the floor. Two bodies that appear like that appear to be frog-like humanoids. They look very familiar, but they're sprawled on the floor near the center of the room. You see several doors providing exits from this room, and notably the, the one to the south. East hangs wide open. Mm. 
We got something in here. And Karen will take two steps in. <coughs> that went a lot better than it could have. <laughs> It's a yeah. dragon bard. <laughs> this guy fucks. So you walk in. Scouting. Kind of walks in. Okay. Checking the room for danger. And stop there, Karen, because as you do, you hear a scream. Oh shit. Let <laughs> me actually go, let me go ahead and put this in the, the chat in a certain language to see if any of you understand. Oh. Sweet. No. no one understands this scream. Sub ah. <laughs> Maybe he died. So everyone go ahead and give me an initiative roll. So, is that our stealth? Yes, it is. Yeah, because you were following the leader. Or following the expert, not following the leader. Oh yeah, mine was a 16 then, sorry. Oh, wait, wait. Well, well, that doesn't matter. I'll modify yours, Harry. Thanks. No, this is just for the person being undetected. I'm nothing but consistent. <laughs> yeah. Damn. You're real perceptive. So, Tam, you're going to act first as you see this creature. Oh, my. Oh. And imagine, if, and if this Whoa. isn't showing up well, that's a bit of a mannequin. Think Chucky. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Right, uh, Tam. Um, oh, fucky. Let me, let me go ahead and see if I have a special sound set for this. Fuck this shit out, huh? Fuck this shit out, huh? Well, we can tell that it's like a mannequin, something that's been pieced. Uh, not pieced, but made. It looks like it's crafted, right? Yes. Don't like that. Oh, no. no. I fucking love Sirenscape, guys. I missed it. What did it do? It gave the child laughing. Uh. <laughs> I didn't have right, the volume Tim, up. what do you want to do? Uh, I, I want to do uh, one first, first action, shield. <laughs> I mean, big picture, good call. Uh, second action, Well, I am going to try to make a recall knowledge using occultism. Try to see if I can figure out what this is. All right, let me check if it's the appropriate knowledge then, ladies and gentlemen. One second as I grab my dungeon bag. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm going to grab a soda. I've got several people to my turn anyway. Hi, right, I'm Tom Exposition. I call that position back. Well, I know you. Yeah, the name's Dom Exposition. Uh, so I can actually say that in this case, uh, I will allow either Arcana or Crafting checks. Uh, yep. Okay. So do you want to still attempt that with an action? You, you, you can do so on a train. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll give it a shot. You, you got a plus zero to both. Which one would you prefer? Uh, probably Arcana. No clue. Yep. Uh, the second like, uh, yeah, it, it's too uh, hard. Uh, 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 uh,
Holy right. fucking shit. Sorry, what did I miss? What did Tam do? Nothing. Uh, Tam tried to identify it. I tried to identify it and failed and then ran behind the table. Okay. Keep <laughs> away. Keep away. Not like, <laughs> well, you, you got an action left then. What do you want? No, I don't. I used my third one to move. What was your first two? Shield and then root to call knowledge. Cast, uh, I, cast yeah, shield. I, I, I forgot about shield. Yeah. So, and that also means my AC. There's no way to help my temporary boost AC. Uh, you, uh, you let me know. I can do that. Alright, well, it's up right now, so it would be a 16. So. <laughs> Keep that in mind if it attacks you. To be honest, that is true. All right, this teeny little thing's turn. <laughs> Looks at Alec and screams. You see its hands start to conjure something together as it shoots this ray out at Alec. Ooh. And it does a, a spell attack. Against against the. The Alec man. That's a miss, ladies and gentlemen. That's a miss. It'd be really funny if Alec finally gets this ring and then just fucking dies. <laughs> and that's five, 10, 15, and that's the rest of its turn. Nope. Felix, your turn. Nope. So, being trained in crafting, I would like to also try to figure out what Felix knows about. Alright, you know what, let me Yeah, you got nothing. You're like, it's clearly man-made, but this action, you can always spend an additional action or re-attempt, but you got nothing on this one. Alright, that'll all help. Let's see how it reacts to something happening. <laughs> Got one move. It's a good move. <laughs> Stop. Every time. Mm. Okay. Never mind. It's not a good move. Wow. Twenty. Damn it. Miss on a twenty. Oh shit. Wait. Oh, the hammer. Oh, the hammer. Oh, the hammer. You got one action left. Felix. So, with my remaining action, gonna pull out the spear and try again to figure out what it is. Okay. By stabbing it. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I also thought you meant by stabbing it. <laughs> um, look at that. You, you can see how, you can see some of the mechanics of how it was made, how the joints work, but you're just, you're not piecing the pieces together. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Alec, what the fuck is this thing? It's gonna... <laughs> He's gonna swing. Like a power he's gonna, attack? He's gonna power attack. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Alec has one move and it's fuck mode. Yo, what's that? <laughs> yeah. What's that? Uh. Bam, bam. And then he's gonna take that final swing. What you small abomination? <laughs> Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 to right here. I am now flanking it, so it needs flat-footed. Uh, you are not flanking it because you are not threatening it. You can attack it there with an action, but you are not threatening it by the rules of threat. Oh, I see. Well, I'm going to attack... Got it. I'm going to attack it, which should make it flat-footed to me at that point, right? Yes, it will be flat-footed to this attack. Okay, so yeah, I am, I am attacking it from here, so... Uh, I put it on. Okay, I see it. And I'm attacking with the flail. So. Not great. Yeah, 20. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, excellent. Uh, so. Because you're flanking. Ah, yes. Oh. Nice, 10. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I don't get the swing thing because it's the same target. Yes? Uh, what are the abilities? Uh, my flail has the. Um, where is it? Shit. It's got, uh... 
some weapon, magic weapon, trip, sweep. Um, this weapon, uh, when you attack this was weapon, you get a plus one circumstance bonus to your attack. If you attack, already attempted to attack a different target. Okay, so yeah, got it. So I'm going to attack again, and I'll take my regular pe penalty. Miss. Okay, that's my turn. Charlie. Charlie? Gonna reach onto her bandolier, pull off an alchemist's fire. Actually, spend the first action trying to identify what the fuck is there. Oh, wait, did somebody ever get that? No. Okay. We've all failed. You've got a pretty substantial craft on it. Yeah. Oh, you, you as well, God. The Damn. rolls are just not sloppy, guys. You, you can see how the joints piece together. You gotta look for a movement. You're, just, you're not quite grabbing it. No. Don't like that. Uh, gonna throw an alchemist fire luster at it. I'm guessing you're going to, uh, not flash. like it. Yeah, correct. Well, the splash damage could still hit. Yeah, but you're, you're not gonna splash it. Right, right. Uh, I have This is the same bonus. Yeah, uh, well, it's, it's one less for the luster to the alchemist fire. Right, right, yeah, it's a plus seven. But I'm, I'm rolling something else, but it's the same thing. And that's a miss. Uh, so that's search, draw, throw. Well, you, you, you have quick draw, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to throw another one at it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Wait, that was real close. Plus seven, so that was definitely going to be a miss. That's going to be a plus seven. That's definitely, definitely a miss. All right, Tam. Tam, Tam, the Flim Flam Man. Hey, um... Boop. And we are going to cast Magic Weapon on this Felix's Spear. Oh, nice. So it becomes, uh... Striking and plus one. Yep, plus one striking. It gets a plus one item bonus to attack and increasing the number of weapon damage dice to two. Oh. So make sure you're flanking. Yeah, make sure you're flanking. You'll do a full fuck ton of damage. <laughs> Alright, it's the teeny constructs turn. It's uh it's going to punch Alec. Sure. Uh, actually, no, I got hit by Karen. Didn't yeah, it like did. That. I'm gonna take a guarded step. Can Alec take an attack of opportunity? Guarded step. Ah. I'm gonna take the whole action of step holding five. Got it. Specifically to avoid that. Uh, and it's then going to cast a spell on Karen. Twenty-one to hit your AC. Uh, yep. Yeah. Is this just like cold darkness shoots out from its arm? Ooh. Oh god damn! God, I said god damn. damn. <laughs> Love Pulp Fiction. Yeah, not even close to that. No, not even close. Oof. Oof, that was a lot of dice. 19 points of damage. Holy oh. crap. As this cold hits, you feel your skin like a light draining out of you. Oh, that's not great. No, that was Felix not great. And it shouts something else in the language you don't understand. <laughs> I just want to like... <laughs> So, uh, what language? You, you don't know. Yeah, none of us know. Same as before. Damn it. You need to have someone on the opposite side from you that is threatening you with a weapon. There's nobody threatening. Correct. Right. So you can just attack it. The other option would be to move 
once you are once you have broken cover, spend an action hiding, and then busting out to each other. <laughs> That sounds like putting all of my eggs in one basket. It does. It's a pretty good basket, though. And I'm not a coward, so it's not to break cover. I mean, your spear is Yeah, you can hit it from there. No, that's too bad. Because if you think about it, your threat range is one space around you, then extended one space more for two. Trust yeah. me, that is a ten foot reach is on the other end. I believe so that what you said in the fact you do. You want my boy, Colin? No, <laughs> you cannot hide behind other people once you have to do so. You want that quite enough cover. So, hide behind the table, I just have to. Yeah, you'd have to like move behind the table, spend an action to hide behind the table, and then up over the table and here. Heck yeah, taking cover. Okay, you roll that stealth check for you. Got a big fat stealth bonus here. All right. Got that fucking lag. You're gonna pop up. What I will say is he will not be flat footed to you. His perception means he's really fucking high. But it should be not. It won't be a sneak attack. Because you hide, and you hide okay, but this thing is super protected. So you pop up and you'll still hit. But... Oh, oh. oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Fucking critical. Oh, oh, yes. uh, and don't so forget to put your know. magic weapon bonuses. Two dice from critting and then double that. Or two dice from magic and then double that for four. Yes. Nice. Oh, that was way too many. That was way too many. <laughs> 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 I mean, to be honest, uh, even having that, you would have killed it, so I'm going to let it stand. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to say, guys, we're pretty close to the end of this dungeon. Excellent. And I know we're running a little late, Ike, so, but if you're okay powering through, we don't spend a lot of time fucking around. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. I, I, I'd love to finish this because this finishes this chapter of the adventure. Let's do it. I'm good. I'm good to push on. Um, as so, long as you estimate we've, we've got probably less than we got 15 minutes. Hell yeah, let's do it. So, a couple things are going to happen. I'm, I'm going to hand wave some stuff pretty quickly. Uh, no, let's not. Let's just play it up. Let's be an expedition. You guys are in this room. What do you guys do? Was there There's anything? Two dead oh. There's this thing you just killed and the two dead bodies. What the? Yeah. All right. Fuck it. I'm gonna roll a couple checks for you guys. I think we're out of combat. All right. Uh, holy shit, Felix, you nail it. This oh. is. Did you slice it? Well, I mean, I did. Just now. Not wrong. Yeah, uh, you both succeed on this check. So I'll, I'll try this knowledge for both of you. This is what is called. A soul doll. Ooh. A soul bound doll. And this particular one is an elite one. I got a little bit of info for you. Soul bound dolls are eerie mannequins or playthings that have been imbued with a piece of the deceased mortal's soul. These little constructs are created for a variety of reasons, just to serve companions or servants, but their free will means that their obedience to the creator is hardly given. Followers of Phrasma generally abhor soul-bound dolls, viewing them as a perversion of the natural cycle of souls, and those who work for the Lady of Grace see destruction of a soul-bound doll, regardless of the contract of life, will point service to the great beyond. Uh, I'll say that you guys, as you quick succeeded on this one, actually, I, so I'm going to give you a little more room on this. This is about two feet tall, and it's empowered by a fragment of soul harvested from the no, but, but you, you kind of piece together a little bit of history looking at it. You sort of, to go back to a show we both just referenced, imagine if we take it back to Sherlock. Like, you start intuiting a bit about the person who made it, about the strokes, the way it was created. So I, I'm just going to give this as exposition. Imagine like a mini flashback, and you see this... This old Hellmite, you recognize him as a symbol, similar to what Alec is wearing, but a full vested knight. And he's bitter. You see him under steam, you see him dying of sepsis, and you see a little bit of his own soul 
sort of imputed and small creature. You see that it once served one of the signifiers of a rat living on, I mean, almost almost space marine dreadnought style, like a bit of this bitter warrior's soul invested in this small doll, oh. serving beyond its death to another one. But when they moved up north to Curvosa, the creator was ordered to leave it behind or destroy it. They couldn't quite bring them to do it, so they set it here. But in this moment, you almost you have a small like look through, and what you realize it was screaming was in a different language. It was screaming, "Take me with you." What's everyone else doing? Uh, Karen, when if you couldn't tell the, by the roll, Karen had gone over and gotten healed by Tam. We just didn't feel it was super necessary to RP it. Uh, what do you guys? What else are you guys doing? There's a couple things. Uh, there's itself and the bodies of the frog people. Tam would like to uh, recall the knowledge on the frog people to see if they figured out how they died. Uh, so you've done this before. Uh, I mentioned real quickly. One, you've seen it, this sold out dog killed them. Okay. This foot monster fucking murdered them. Gotcha. Figured. Uh, but I'm going to carry over a prior religion check and these same creatures bear the cinder claw Sigil, a a separatist movement of Dahak, the god of evil dragons. Oh shit! So this is these same these same frog people bear the one to the other one, but they once again bear clothing that is similar to that you see in the Milwaukee Expanse. Um, what else do it? One of the best of the bad Death of the bachelor. I think I was here with Felix checking out what's fucking wrong. Karen is uh, essentially scouting, or well, uh, searching for danger, but n like leaning against the wall, just kind of eyeing around the room. So you're you're kind of checking out the room. You actually see a few little different like trinkets and figurines. Hmm. And while they're checking this stuff out, if you're willing to, we're, we're real life speeding, but in game not. If you're willing to spend a little bit of time, you might be able to collect a few different ones if you so desire. Yeah. Okay, so looking around the room, you find, check the inventory bundle. Oh, they already are. are, are, they are. Ooh. Little figurines carved in obsidian. Okay. Now, this is noteworthy. They are category wealth, subcategory art, which means that their value is not reduced in sale. That is how much they are worth as Wow. Currency. Okay. How many of them did I find? There's several, but that is a collective value. That's the collective. Ah. I got it. Okay. Oh, also, we'll go ahead and These might be kind of fun to play with when uh, we go on sailing, eh, Charlie? I'll put these little, uh, these toy figures away. Oh. Also, I would like to note that all of you just were in a room called the War Room, uh, so you all just fought in the War Room, contrary oh, nice. to the rules about the entire War Room. <laughs> Where would you all like to go now? Um, didn't you say the southwest door was open? Southeast door. Southeast door? Um, okay, so I want to... Let me check in. What's everyone's exploration? Karen, are you still scouting? Yes. Are you back to scouting? Yes. Charlie, what are you doing? Uh, Charlie's gonna follow the expert again. Okay. Felix, you still avoiding them to do that? As soon as he's gone, he's gonna have Karen, what you doing? Uh, investigation. Okay. Yeah, Karen is feeling invigorated from the uh, the healing that Tam gave her, so she's not being very sneaky. She's kind of strutting, chin up. Alright, so you all start working your way to the, you said southwest? Yeah, uh, southeast, this door. Southeast, yeah. Uh, the one that was there. Tam noticed something. There's... The door that's sort of slightly open, you notice there's a weird slime encrusting that door frame. Uh, but there's gooey stuff here. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. There's gooey stuff. Oh, it's not lying. Not lying. Oh, it's not lying. It might be more, be more than frogmen. Watch your stick. Be sure you look up. Hit plenty of them monkeys. So, Karen. 
look into this for you. Oh, and shit. You see toppled armor racks scattered throughout a wide room. You see anvils, hammers, and tool sets, other supplies that you would once gather were used to repair, maintenance, and maybe even construct <laughs> these really iconic bits of Hell Knight armor. Uh. Do you want me to pick up your shield with this real stuff? Oh, you think you could do that? And, uh, Karen will pull her, her walk out of her bag and hand it over to Felix. So you step into this room. Oh. Before yeah. that. <laughs> and what I'm going to need you to do now is roll for initiative. Oh, fuck. Shit. Like, it's one of the most classic fucking things I could ever hope to have. Oh, yeah, that's not that's copyrighted. I'm sorry, a watcher. Everyone rolled. Don't forget to take that plus one for Karen's scouting. Oh shit! Well, yeah, mine's a twenty-nine then. Yeah, I did not do mine. Yeah, me too. I don't think anyone. I always forget about it. Alright, call up everyone by one. Thank you. Oh, hey, that should help Alec, then. That should put him just over. Alec has a rule, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. That's his old initiative. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, Karen, you go first, as you suddenly notice this large, oozing square. Oh, shit, it's square. Okay, mechanical question. You cannot split movement in second edition, right? Correct. There's okay. three actions, though, so you can take an action to move, take another action. Okay, so I'm just making sure. Um, yeah, her immediate reaction is going to be to take a giant swing at this thing. Uh, so, there's a whomp. Alright, that's a hit. Excellent. Good lord, you hit on a six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but not hard to hit. <laughs> okay, sure. so she took that, and then she yells out, watch out, watch out, big nasty, and, uh, backs up to here, and, um, preparing an action is an, uh, two actions, right? Like, correct. Uh, can I, like, take a defensive stance to gain a plus one to AC or something? No, that's probably, that's probably something that requires a feat. That, I'll just, uh, forego the third action. No, wait, I can hit from here. I'm ten feet away. Yes, I'll take a second swing. Um, yeah, that'll do it. Uh, and then... Okay, cool. There we go. That's my whole turn. Alright. Then Felix's turn. Yeah, so I'm... Oh, oh, yeah, Ka Karen uh, hit it close up, and then backed away, and then, then hit it with a lunge. You're like, what the fuck? You, you have an idea of something there. Well, yeah, but I'm like, there's no throwing hammer. This is not actually something. Yeah, actually, no, no, because you're a see-through, you have trouble seeing it. It's better, yeah. So. One, one, two, so let's. Oh. Yeah, I don't think about this. Alright, he was wrong. Mm. Okay. He's not. He what? Wrong. Well, no, there's no reason to drop a hammer, so we'll keep holding the hammer. Plus, then notices that there is a, you know, gelatinous food there is advertised. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's, it's a large, it's a large ooze. Shape. There's a large ooze there. Sorry, I, I did not mean to use the incorrect identity. Did you just assume its classification? No, classification is not. It's a <laughs> Anyway, it's a and then, there's finally the, the one move that I haven't done with the hammer, and swings the hammer. 
So you gotta be a little closer for oh, a swing. Oh, I have a bad look back. And swings the hand. Okay. <sighs> well, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> you have one more action, you could move. I have learned the power of the hammer, the power of the hammer to be thrown. <laughs> Karen yells out, Felix, so those aren't for close-up! With the final half, Felix, Felix is actually going to return. Alright, now it's the Uzu. <sighs> Kyobo on the board, they're equal distance. Let's say odd for Karen, even for Felix. Big enough for Karen to go for both. Ah, I cannot. It's, it's, yeah. it's not super fast. It's gonna go five, ten, and it is then going to engulf Felix. <gasps> Ooh. Yep. So Felix, I need you. Oh, hey, look at that. This one was transcribed in the rush. I want to make sure that I'm not. Before what? Before I get eaten by the zoos. Oh, one second. I don't know why I want to eat Straight to the DC area, one leg is the gentleman. Page 254, for those of you who should not be following me. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to say that's a reflex. So go ahead and give me a reflex save, Felix. Felix, do that. Maybe he disconnected? Hey, come on, dear boy. No, he went to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I need a reflex save. Oh, Felix. Finally, the one number he had. Oh, that was pretty good. God damn it, he succeeded. Did he crit succeed? Half, half damage as you can Four point with acid damage if it tries to go. Why is this fucking thing trying to blow me? <laughs> oh, Alec can totally flank it. Well, Alec flanked it. Mm -hmm. Alec, he is not going to go. Five. Fifteen. Twenty. He's going to attack of the power. Yes. Yeah, the, the whole time he's hacking, Felix is free. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, A 31. However, this creature is immune to critical hits. Aww. Never hit twice from the speed of the only. Oh, it, it actually counted as a partially resistant to the automatic thing. Mm. Then Alec, that's his turn. Tab's turn. Tab's back. Uh, not really knowing what else to do, but wanting to help. The story of Tab's life. <laughs> <laughs> um. We'll, we'll try this. <laughs> I 
Oh, I, that's a hit? It's a crit, yo! Oh, well, no, I guess it's, it's, a, a, it's a hit. Crit. Yeah, it's a mini crit. I'm hitting it with my shovel. <laughs> shovel time! No, when you use it for combat, it you have to call it. Try to make it absorb it and blow up from the inside. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, you want to give it the old plus one there? Yeah, you know what? I don't think it'll matter to be honest, but it might. Uh, Thrown through a doorway All definitely right. gets a little cover. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Low <laughs> AC. Slow. <laughs> ah, take that five damage, you piece of shit. <laughs> Any persistent? Uh, it does two persistent. Yeah, Karen uh, takes a big, mighty swing with her flail overhead style and brings it down on this thing. <sighs> well, it was a net one, but it was still just a miss, not a crit miss. Uh, and then she's going to, um, f what's the word, follow through and do a 360 spin, do another overhead and try to bring it down. Ugh, that'll do it. <laughs> That'll do it. Uh, seven damage. I don't think that's enough to kill it, but uh, could be pretty good. And then third attack, same thing. Swing in 360 to do that final attack. God damn, low rolls. One, one, and two, one and two threes. Well, I missed that one. Yikes. The other three is slacking and is a disappointment to its family. Yeah, okay. Felix? Felix? Or is it me who froze? Shit, it's me who froze.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry. My Wi Fi conked out. So, in order to keep things moving along at an expedition pace, we're going to get some uh, little X, a little bit of XP. Oh, did the ooze die? Yeah. Ooze be dead. What happened? Did my internet die again? Did it? My anything? Nothing? Fuck. Okay, maybe something. Anything. Sword. Hey. True. Am I, am I back? You just can't sneak attack with it. You are, in fact, back to both of Okay, trying to connect uh, back to Fantasy Crowns. Our internet took a dump. Where do you want to go next? The loot was a plus one battle app. Is there a. Uh, can we flip the room real quick? Yeah. Can you reshare the map, please? Sure, and that's what you guys find. Me. Okay, just the battle app. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to send it. I'm going to hand wave a little bit of stuff that would normally take a tad bit longer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for like saying once we're all done, it's like you said they're like hammers and tools. Those this like like an armor's. Like, it was an armory, armor. yeah. And okay. those are things here. Are, are kind of booted, pretty fucked up. But that's what you guys should find. But there, yeah. are there, there are could be potentially. That's what I was going to ask. Nice. But, no, those tools here. Oh, okay. For rust, but this place has been abandoned for a while. Okay. Got it. So, I'm just for battle axe. <laughs> yeah, Karen, you want the pass? Oh, yeah, let me look at it. Oh, let me see what its weight looks like. No, I'll, I'll put it in my pack since I've got the hefty hauler feet so I can carry a bunch of shit. There's also a hefty hauler carrying shit for other people. I can actually take some of that off your hands now that I want to look at the other I'm door. So, I'm so weak. They can burst, same as burst. Yeah. A little bit louder and a whole lot worse. <laughs> yep. Check the door. See if it's locked. Follow the expert, please. I think, uh, like at this point, Charlie and uh, Felix are going to start getting more rapport where Charlie's just kind of like hanging on the back of his coat, you know? Kind of leaning out behind him. 
Now, Felix, I'm don't pay any attention to what this actually says. It's I'm lying. Really <laughs> <laughs> Harm. Nice. There you go, Felix. You're fine. Good God. <laughs> All right, Karen will step in. Let's fix Felix's HP real quick. Hold on a second. You don't get to step into the review. Oh shit! Okay. Oh fuck. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. The Battlefield theme song is playing. It's weird. The purpose in another life. <laughs> Which Battlefield? Two. Okay. You see empty weapon racks lining the walls. Repair forges long abandoned, sitting cold, lonely roads towards the back. Well, you notice a crude lean to, the wall. seemingly made from ropes and bits of ripped leather. Sucks, right? Someone's probably into it. He looks like a tannery. That's not a tannery. I don't know why it would be a tannery. I think it's really not. <laughs> so, what are, you, what are you doing in this room? Uh, underground for it to be, like, tanning. Scouting for dangers that might. Drip from the ceiling or jump from the floor. Creeping around, but also like not a Yeah. You're kind of like just pointing things out and whispering things to me. Like, you know, don't talk about it bad. It makes noise. You don't want to make noise. The point is to me, thing is not making noise. So I need everyone now. Don't forget your plus one. Ah, yes. Oh, Woo! Plus one. One. I did it. <laughs> I added the one. Hey, oh, sucking it up. Oh, <laughs> this roof, you both see. What the fuck is that? Small cobalts? You don't take my candle. <laughs> We're not in Goldshire anymore, Toto. <laughs> hey, talking to free action, right? Yeah. It is. As a matter of fact, they actually kick off combat with something else. Yeah, that's what Felix Paul's from the world. You're a dragon, and we want your meat. <laughs> Is there an art of it? Oh, yeah, I've actually got two pieces of art. Excellent, fuckers. This is the top one. Awesome. Yeah, they did a read of it. Oh, excellent. That I adore. I love it. They are, and here's actually here's the stutter cobalt. Well, kiss my grits. Oh, look at his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking in two different directions. Pick one. Pick one and stick with it. I can't concentrate when you don't look when you're looking back and forth. It's adorable. Love it. So the first one is a really good one. It beats all your protection units. So you're actually uh, gonna step down to Karen. Right, let's... Does that provoke an attack of opportunity? No, because it's sneaking. I guess the, its stealth check is high enough that mm. I think it, uh, you did, you're, you're not going to have noticed its first movement. Got it. 
it's uh, pretty stealthy, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So yeah, it comes down at you, Karen. You're going to be flat-footed in this first attack. Okay. And so that's, that's where it comes out. It's with this attack that it screams, We're dragons and we want your meat! <laughs> meats. We have the meats. Well, okay. Claw, yeah. and now you're no longer black Okay. So move, attack. And it does. Four points of damage. Ew, this little Three, shit. Four, four, this little shit attacked me. Ah, this is. Yes. That's Charlie's turn. Charlie's turn. Yeah. Charlie's turn. Yeah. Charlie's turn. Yeah. Charlie's turn. 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 Well, I'll can aspire this guy. Get this small kobold uh, green one. Yep. Yeah. Plus one on it. You know I do, because I like this one. <laughs> Got it? Mm -hmm. Oh, hell yeah. Excellent. Let's take some of that, buddy. That was a real good shot. He's gonna have, uh... And it hisses. Two persistent fire damage on that guy. Ah! And let's... Fuck it, let's throw another one at him. Yeah! Ah, oh, it's a... But he takes one fire damage. Okay. Okay. We've been, like, asking for him to throw a football on people. You know, for, you know, one of the reasons to the attack. Wouldn't it be equivalent to just give ourselves a bunch of damage without a fire oh, yeah. It would, but for other reasons, it does actually apply a penalty to the ace in case of an axe magic. So then we'll do just probably an order of operations. <laughs> Damn! Um, hang on, I oh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I just, I, I have my... Morning Star in one hand, I'm gonna pull out the uh, hand crossbow in the other. I can dig it. Tam, Tam the man. Uh, I'm gonna cast Spiritual Weapon. Nice. <laughs> Where do you wanna put that? Flank uh, me. Flank me. To the east of the small kobold on Karen. I can't flank from there. It, won't give you, it doesn't give you a flank, anyways. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, okay. Nope. Well, perfect. Put it wherever you want, then. Sort of like cool. Then put it wherever you want. Yep. So, small kobold that Karen is fighting the square just to the east of it. Okay. Ah, here we go. Bring the stella back. There. Yep. What and is it? Spiritual weapon. Same. Spiritual weapon. No, I mean, like, what weapon? What form does it take? Oh, it's a dagger, because it's a uh, mm. favorite weapon. Yeah. All right, so then, does it, it attacks this turn? Sure it, attacks, it attacks this turn, yes. Um, so it rules it. Melee spell attack. What? Just spell attack bonus. Oh. I don't know how to make this targeted, so... Just roll it, I'll take care of that. Yeah. Eleven. That's too bad. Yeah. Uh, you, got a, you got a final action to do like this. Um... Nothing. I'll stay here. Okay. Alec is going to... Just... Take a big old swing at this motherfucker. Yeah, that's a, that's a hit. That is a big old swing. Oh, oh my. Bam! And it, as it hits, little thing just goes, No! Please! No! And it drops the staff that it's holding. Please! No! Don't hurt us! Uh, don't hurt us! And then you see the little uh, the red... Uh... Well, it's for its life. <laughs> see the red one screaming? Hit! No! No! Don't hurt Pips! I'll surrender to the dragons! The dragons surrender! <laughs> and Alec just kind of stops. 
probably get pretty good power attack. <laughs> it's Karen's turn. You see, you see the one that ident the self identifies as Zarf having thrown its stuff. One second. Uh, oh, hold on. What's up? Oh. Uh, sorry, my brother's talking to me. One second. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Sorry, man. No problem. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, all right. I am going to intimidate them and just say, drop your weapons. They already did. Oh, they're, oh shit. Well, it was a bad intimidate anyway. So, um... I, I, I can't... I did. <laughs> okay. What do you know about what's been going on here? Farther away? What? You're, you're, you're gonna let us live? He was, he was eyes big and crossed. <laughs> For now, it depends on what you tell us. Alright, well, if you'd like to, Karen, can do what's called make an impression. Hmm. Alright, how do I do that? The diplomacy check. Uh, I'm not good at that. <laughs> I'm mean, the talking. I imagine if Tam says it, like, in that voice. Yeah. I'm the talking. Okay, so, kind of listen. I, I am. I am, I am the dragon surf. Yeah, when it says you're going to let us live, I'm, I slowly turn my gaze from it to Tam. That's all I do, instead of saying anything. I just look to Tam. Tam would use that. Like, you know what? There's like, so, if you're actually surrendering, we have some questions. As long as everything goes okay, we will let you live. If you make a wrong move, the we big man with the friend. sword. We accept your respect of that violence. Okay, we're making progress. Yes, mighty dragons. Oh, you right. You right. right, you yes, appreciate us. Dragons. Like um. Keeping everyone honest, uh, he's still on fire and heavily injured. Does that kill him? Uh, yes. You want to drop unconscious. <laughs> 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 We're gonna be and then this Zarf massive, <laughs> exacerbated <laughs> sigh. Zarf runs over. People. No. <laughs> oh, he looks up and respects the dragon. Like the gals. And then we're gonna cut out. <laughs> we'll give you guys XP for that because you did technically defeat it. That was beautiful. I love that the persistent fire damage did it. <laughs> the worst thing is the red cobalt is a has fire Because <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> it's a descendant of a red dragon. That's hilarious. <laughs> Respect the dragon. Down. Tame the crawler. Respect the dragon. <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you all. I actually got a jack real quickly. Alright. Alright. Later, I guess. I'm going to send a summary of this later. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Wait, Trent, yeah. I'm going to. Yeah. So, Trent? Yeah. I was just asking, do we really have 442 XP? Holy crap. Yeah, you guys just blitzed through Holy shit. five more encounters. <laughs> that was excellent. We're still aiming for a thousand? Yeah, it's a yeah, thousand it's every like, level. God damn. So we only need 558 more XP. We're halfway to level four. Jesus. That is most excellent. Uh, I, I, actually, I, can I jump into uh, uh, basement with you? Or